is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Whoa, whoa. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Whoa, whoa. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe. Hey, guess what I'm doing this morning? I've invited Mark to join me because he's just defected from a Deus to a CTX. But he doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> so I've decided I'm going to take him to my 110 Roman Denari horde site. I can't find anything else there, so I'm going to see if he can. And did you bring a Roman with you for a test? No. He didn't bring, no, he's been testing him all night last night and watching videos and things so we'll see how he gets on anyway I don't think we're going to find anything in that Roman area especially a Roman coin if not at least we've got another hundred acres to go at so we'll give it a little while we're not going to waste all day but we'll show you what happens and see how he gets on I know how I'm going to get on <laughs> well Mark's onto a signal so far he's digging rubbish tin cans bits and pieces I've just had a lovely signal on the dais unfortunately it was a cow tube I've got plenty of those on here Is it out? Probably missed it by a mile. Uh, where do you pinpoint on the CTX? Is it the front or the middle? <coughs> middle. It's generally pretty good though. <coughs> yeah. Not on this target. I can see some rust. Yeah. It's out. It's a lump of iron. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I thought I saw some rust in that saw. Oh well. Deep enough though. That's your first target on video with a CTX. Hopefully the next one to be better. <laughs> well today I'm gonna let you listen to more of my signals, the good ones and the bad ones, so that you can decide for yourself in the future. Oh, I recognise that tone. It's probably a piece of lead or probably a piece of foil or whatever. So let's get on and see what we can hear today. I've actually got a little signal here. Actually, it's not that little. I've said in the, in the past, just listen for those really quiet ones and listen for the lifts. This one's quite easy to hear, but it's a very small signal. It's probably what I mean, small in area. But it's encouraging. 85. Now it could be anything, but it sounds lovely. That's why I put the camera on. So we'll take this one live. Got a really encouraging signal here. So I'll put the camera on. Do you want to test it first? I'm going to let Mark just test this with his CTX. <laughs> Yeah. 85, nice both directions on the, on the dais. 12. 12.38 on this. 12.38, it means nothing to me, it's double dutch. It means nothing to me either. <laughs> <laughs> I have to dug it though. <coughs> but it does sound nice. Um, that's better. I bet you it's a cow tube. I've got three of those already this morning. But it does sound too high for a cow tube. The numbers are actually a bit high. It's not a Rowan Denari, but it is a target. Not bad, considering I've done this field to death. I've got a little buckle up with a pin still intact. So it was a target. Oops, dropped it. I'll tell you what, if I try it on the floor, I bet you can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> it's iron there. There's a little lift. Lost it. A little 
squeak just next to the iron, but it's so, so quiet. And that's exactly how about 50 of those denarii were. They were that quiet, but I was digging literally everything. Yeah. So I'm just going to take a plug out and just see if the signal improves. Still there, you take your probe mark and see if you get any closer. If it is anything worth having, it'll still be here. I'm not going to waste too much time on this, I'm going to fill it back in. We're already about 15 inches deep. We'll call that a day on that one. Well, I just dug up an old copper artifact which is all crumbled up. I've done my best to straighten it out and it didn't break luckily. You can see on there that... You can see on there, I think it says... Police. So it might be an old police badge. Gosh, that'll be old. Yeah. I'm fairly sure that's an old police badge. Well, I thought we'd give our... Well, I thought we'd give ourselves a chance of finding something by moving away from that area. Uh, we can cover it again on the way back as we pass back through to the car. And... I've just come across that. But I'm not convinced that's anything special. You watch me end up with egg on my face now. Anyway, the best discriminator is the spade. Rather than what you think it might be. So let's have a go. very deep so it's not going to be that old. Uh, what are you? Oh no! <laughs> it's a bottle top. Actually it looks like a whiskey bottle top is it? Canada Gold? What? What's Canada Gold? This is a nice clear signal in both directions. But it's got that question mark over it. I'm going to predict that's foil. It's just a little bit burpy. Right, I think it's foil. There we go. Piece of foil. It's really good that I show you the bad stuff as well. That way you can just learn by listening to my targets. What to listen out for and what not to listen out for. You know, your spade is the best discriminator so therefore you shouldn't really leave anything you don't know for sure is junk. I knew that was foil, but it could have been something else. So, digging up foil is normal. This was just a little bit higher. Showing 66. Gotta dig that. It's not a copper coin. It's not a silver coin. But you just don't know what it is. So I'll mark that one as well. Right, let's dig it. So it's 67. I predicted it won't be a copper, it certainly isn't a copper, and it won't be a silver. Doesn't mean, here we go, piece of aluminium. Gosh. Well that was sounding really nice. It's showing 88, let's see what it is, let's get it dug. Right, 88, 89. This is in the realms of possibility of being a coin. Right, let's see where it is. 
and the plug go back. No. Nope. Oh, where is it? It was a copper coin. Now right in the middle of all that mud, I just got a really good signal. I was tempted not to go for it because I was sinking and sinking past the top of my boots and then that came up. Do you know what that is? These used to be delivered by putting them down the throats of cows of oh, decades ago. They haven't used these for 30 years. And the only way they can pass these out, because they don't ever come out at all, is when the animal goes to slaughter. And then the belly muck, the muck from inside the animal, is given to farmers to spread on their land. They are paid to do it. Now they were 30 years ago, they're not anymore. So in that belly muck was everything that was inside the stomach including the antiseptic and medication tubes. They are solid steel with a plastic coating. So that's what belly muck is and that's what I've just found out of one. Yuck. Yep. It's a piece of steel. But that piece of steel can often throw you. Just didn't quite sound right to me, but now you've heard it and you've seen it. Oh, Mark's on the roll. He's now beating me 3 2 on coins. Thinks it's a, a Victoria copper. Yeah, it looks like a Victoria, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Defo. Victoria, half penny. I'll better see the date on that, will you? Yeah. It's awful. You can see the profile now. Yeah. Still no more digging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's done it again. That's the last one. Oh! Probably got a pocket spill. Another Victoria. Better oh, think, oh, It was the same period. Yeah. Another half penny Victoria. What did that sound like? Same as the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Remember that noise, whatever it is. Well that sounded okay and then I took the plug out and it sounds really nice now. Look at that. It's a Vicky shilling. Oh you can't see a date on it. I wish you can. 18. 56, 58, 1858. Wow! Lovely job. Now you hear that here first. Now you know what a silver sounds like on the ultimate program with no discrimination except your ears. That sounds lovely. 85, 87. That's Mark's. So let's see what it is. Cool. Woohoo! You got a buckle as well. Right. A buckle! Oh well, we've not had much, but before we call it a day, I think it's time we had our cake break. Mark! Cake break. No Romans. Been listening very carefully. But the main theme today was to let you listen to the tones. 
hope that you can pick up something from the ultimate program tones it's easy for us because we're used to it and now we got used to it he's changed to a ctx getting a few targets though yeah right that's it from us if you like the video please put your thumbs up and leave a comment if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so and I'll tell you what I do on the end of this video I'm going to turn that silver shilling into a polished sterling silver ring and I'm going to give it away to one of you so just leave a comment as to why you would like to receive it and what your finger size is it could be chosen at random catch you later